My name's Charles Hazelwood, I'm Artistic Director of Para Orchestra and I'm here at Festival Hall tonight, part of Chris Jones' Meltdown, with a beautiful little new creation of ours which is called the Love Unlimited Synth Orchestra. The initial idea for Para Orchestra came because I've got a child with cerebral palsy and she started making me wonder why it is that, well I've been conducting orchestras around the world for over 30 years now and I can count the fingers of one hand and other musicians who have a disability who appear in any of those orchestras. So I start to think, well this is just plain mad, isn't it? Not only is it very unjust, unfair, the legend of level playing field, but more to the point we're missing out on talent everywhere because stand, people don't fit standard moulds necessarily. If you look what the Paralympics has done in sport, people no longer watch the Paralympics as a kind of like, oh, poor fuzzy kind of wannabe thing for disabled athletes to have a go. No, they watch the Paralympics because it's world class. Music absolutely can be the same. Music's more universal than sport. So, Paracrusher was born, and it's continued to evolve into this joyous thing. And 40 of our musicians identify as disabled. So it's a fully evolved mix of people with and without disabilities to say, absolutely, you can put excellence and disability in the same sentence. In the name of peace, what this killing of fighting ever when people think of the word orchestra, when they think of what orchestras are, they think Bruckner, Brahms, Beethoven, and quite right, and nothing wrong with that. They are lifeblood, they are a birthright for all, not a luxury for some. But however, no reason, no contradiction for me in terms of why the orchestra wouldn't want to evolve and embrace all forms of music. If we accept that music is the most universal language we have, beyond any dialect or tongue, no question, the orchestra should be the largest most universal embodiment of that universality. So why wouldn't you play Barry White? My God, why wouldn't you play Barry White? His music is insanely good, right? Equally, why wouldn't you play Kraftwerk? Why wouldn't you play Scott Walker? As well as your Schnitke, your Mozart, your Brahms, right? These are all part of the same palette. One of the greatest opportunities of working with musicians who identify as disabled is that many of them have to, by dint of impairments, etc., they have to use assistive tech to make music. They can't play an oboe or a cello, right? But they can play one via a digital portal. So this is an amazing opportunity for us to expand and evolve the whole ecology of the orchestra. It's the spectrum of sound. So with musicians that have to use digital means to make music, suddenly you fling the door wide open on a whole new world of possibility for the orchestra. We've got musicians playing instruments like Headspace, musicians using all manner of different kinds of bits of tech. And the, my greatest sadness is that we're living in a brave new world. For the first time in the history of humanity, there is no longer any barrier to any person to make music, whatever their particular body shape or, or brain function is, right? There is an instrument for everyone. It's just that most people don't know it's out there. Most people haven't got the money to buy it. You know, we've got a long road ahead of us. There is so much to be done. We're very specifically not trying to imitate the Love Unlimited Orchestra because why would you do that? Does that take the story any further? Not really. Of course we could make a Love Unlimited Orchestra and we'd do it really well. But we decided to make something called the Love Unlimited Synth Orchestra, which does exactly what it says on the tin. It subs out that vast string section and we've got a bank of analog synthesizers, which add a thrilling different kind of quality to the material. So then we put the, put the ask out. People were both delighted and terrified at the idea of taking on Barry White. But I'm so delighted to say that we've got artists from a whole realm of different kind of corners of the musical spectrum. We've got Kelly from Bok Party, we've got Shingi from uh, The Noisettes, we've got uh, Betty Boo, right? We've got Enno from uh, Bibio Sound Machine, a really fantastically broad spectrum of vocal and uh, defiantly brilliant personalities to bring new spins to Barry's baby booming tracks. In a nutshell, uh, we believe that the modern orchestra can genuinely be a much more accurate reflection of modern society in all of its shapes and forms. Equally, we absolutely embrace technology. It's the most amazing set of opportunities for the orchestra as it evolves and moves forward, a central musical resource in the life of the world.